This is Sidney Diego. He's here to declare that Val Kilmer is the best actor to ever play Batman. A self-described Batman aficionado. Will Sidney's argument live on forever, or will his opponent rise to the challenge? Let's meet Spider Black, aka Spider. He may look like he comes in peace, but his argument is anything but. He says that Adam West was the greatest cape crusader of all time. Will his old-fashioned ways hold him back, or will his passion be too much for Sidney to handle? Hi, Brigadiers. This is your beloved Generalissimo Stan Lee again with a very urgent and compelling question. There have been many actors who have worn the mantle of Batman over the years. Which one has done it the best? Now, those actors are West, Bale, Clooney, Kilmer, or Keaton. And here are some words to live by for my troops who have no idea, perhaps, who Adam West is. He was one of the original men to play Batman in 1966, and he voiced the cartoons thereafter. Michael Keaton followed in the late 80s and early 90s, paving the way for Val Kilmer, George Clooney, and the man most of you are familiar with today, Christian Bale. The question is, who was the best actor to play Batman? I hand that question off to our fabulous fans and our judicial judge, Jace Hall. Fan Wars is in session. All rise for the Honorable Jace Hall. Please be seated. Uh, welcome to the Fan Wars court. Uh, before we get started, I would like to introduce our illustrious celebrity panel. Uh, we have Kara Santa Maria. We have Sandeep Parikh. And Adrian Curry. Thank you all for being here to help aid uh, myself and Stan Lee in these uh, very important matters. Gentlemen, let's present this case. It's somewhat outdated to think that Adam West can represent what Batman really stands for. I say that Val Kilmer is the best actor for Batman, mainly because he brought to the film different parts of the mythos that wasn't brought prior to, and really not really brought out in the uh, TV series. And he brought the duality between Bruce Wayne and Batman. He struggled at being Bruce Wayne, and you can see it in his acting. And he was himself and at peace when he was Batman. What will happen if the Adam West Batman was to go to the Val Kilmer Gotham? I can already see the headlines, mystery Batman slain. On the flip side, if Val Kilmer Batman went to the Adam West Gotham, the headline would simply read, new mysterious Batman defeats all crime. And that is my argument. Thank you, sir. Spider Black? The Batman who's the very best is the man by the name of Adam West. I think I'm particularly well qualified to speak about Adam West because I used to live next door to a man who had once dated a woman who had attended college with a guy who was the vice president of the Adam West International Fan Club. So there you go. Batman was the biggest televised phenomenon of the mid-1960s. For two years, the show aired on ABC twice a week, resulting in 120 produced episodes. Being on television allowed Adam West to enter homes all across the country. He became a regular and beloved house guest and achieved the lofty status of a genuine cultural icon. Val Kilmer never came close to matching that kind of status. What about Robin? The only significant Robin was Burt Ward. Adam West's on-screen partner. Adam West and Burt Ward were the perfect pair, like peanut butter and jelly, or a bagel and cream cheese, or Whitney Houston and crack cocaine. Okay. All right, we're, we're gonna strike that last comment. I was simply trying to uh, make the point that Burt Ward and Adam West were the perfect pair. 
And uh, finally, uh, let me ask, um, which of the Batman movies have the most, has the most memorable theme music? None of them, except for the TV show with Adam West. No, 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 Batman. We're not, we're not singing in the courtroom. Is that your argument, sir? Yes, it is. Thank you. We will now move to the celebrity jury question and answer portion of the procedure. Our illustrious jury, please feel free to ask questions. If I may, I'd, I'd like to start here. I have a question for Spider Black. How do you get your hair to be so awesome? Um, I insert my finger into light sockets. Sydney, Val Kilmer? Why is Val Kilmer better than even his other movie counterparts, Michael Keaton? To understand why I picked Val Kilmer, you have to take in the whole Batman uh, story as a whole and all of the uh, simple things that Val Kilmer displayed. Did you like the Batman that was with the Penguin and Catwoman or did you like the Val Kilmer Batman which was with Jim Carrey? I liked the acting of Val Kilmer as Batman. I liked the movie as a story with the Penguin and the Catwoman okay. and the Batman. All right. So you would have put Val Kilmer yeah. into Michael Keaton's yeah. spot. I see. Any other questions from our celebrity jury panel? Um, I, I would like to see Sputter Black sing again. Here's why. I feel like I'm, I'm on the fence, and I want to see some passion. So, OK, we're having a passion test. I can give you passion. OK. I will allow 10 seconds of passion, please. With all due respect to my opponent, he's got his head up his ass, as far as I'm concerned. Now, do I sound bitter? You sound bitter. Yes, because I, I am bitter. I'm impotent. I'm constipated. The dog died. Now, I know that's neither here nor there. But the point I'm trying to make is that I've been around the block literally thousands of times. And when it comes to pop culture, I know what's happening, baby. Was that the passion you were looking for? He serenaded me with his passion, but not through song. I, I myself, am quite content. Very well. Is there anything you want to add? Simply that... Batman is more than pop culture, as he implied. So with that being said, I'm going to now ask the celebrity jury panel if they have all the information they need to deliberate and come to some conclusion. OK, so I'll ask the celebrity jury panel to rise and head to the deliberation chambers. Dude, what was Val that? Kilmer? Val Kilmer. The only worse answer you could have given would be was George Clooney. I can't quite tell you which way I think the jury is leaning. What I will do is ask a couple of questions myself, just for some clarification. Like, I understand why Adam's there, because he's pop culture. Yeah. But that Batman, to me, sucks. Spider Black, do you think that you may have undermined your argument by declaring your own impotence? Uh, your Honor, I felt I was being honest. It's tough. I mean, if we try to compare okay, the two of them, the I don't here's like the either. Thing. I don't like either. I don't like really. either. I think they're bringing up the, I don't know, the wrong Batmans. There's better ones. There's wrong Kevin Batman. Conroy. As the jury returns from what must be a tough decision, will they side with Sydney's surprising choice of Val Kilmer or go with Spider Black's old school ways with Adam West? Uh, jury panel, have you come to a decision? Yes, we have. Um, everyone knows that Christian Bale is the best Bruce Wayne, Michael Keaton is the best Batman, and as much as I respect Adam West, we also all know that he has put down the mantle and moved on to be Mayor West. Because of this, I think uh, me and the jurors have decided we can neither award either of you for your arguments today because we're right here, and I think you're both wrong. Is the celebrity jury certain of their decision? Um, both of you have failed to sufficiently convince the jury that your argument was sound, so this shall be rendered null and void. I thank you, gentlemen, for your time. I thank the celebrity jury. That will be all. All right. Stuff's happening. We're back outside the courtroom at Fan Wars with an unprecedented decision. Sid, were you surprised? Were you shocked? What was your reaction? I wasn't shocked because the best Batman is in the comics. Do you still feel like it's Val Kilmer? Yeah, for the most part. I don't really like Christian Bell's uh, Batman. It's just like the it's too much man. for you. Yeah. Uh, how do you think everything went? Uh, there hasn't been a, a worse decision since O.J. Simpson. Sure. 
Um, you know, one thing I didn't get a chance to mention is that um, if Val Kilmer is such a great Batman, how come Adam West has his own comic book? Well, let's talk about the comic book. How much do you regret the decision bringing it out late in the game? It probably would have been better if I had, yes. Well, thank you very much uh, for your effort out there, Spider Black. I think in the green room, you're, there's more Batmans that are looking for more interviews. Problem. So thank you so much. That's it for Fan Wars. We'll catch you with more episodes online. Thanks, folks.